reading 2nd Samuel chapter 18 and uh, verses 19 2nd Samuel chapter 18 I hope everybody has a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, just uh, just be attentive and hear what we'll be reading. Yes. Okay, I have it here on the screen. So uh, we'll read second. We're well, sorry, I think the projector has, they have an issue there, but I can, my screen here is working. So we are reading second Samuel chapter 18, verse 19. And we are reading in the name of the Lord. Then said Ahimaaz, the son of Zadok, let me now run and bear the king's tidings. The king tidings. How that the Lord has avenged him of his enemies. Well, I think we shall read verse by verse. Samuel chokubiri esula ya kumina mnano nyolo kumina omuenda. Au akimazi motabani wa Zadoki. Na yo garanti. Kanzirukeka akano ntualide kabake chigambo. Mukama buwamu wala nide egwanga wala bebe. Listen carefully. Listen, Mori, is no this is Akimaz. Ono Akimazi. Requesting uh, Joab. Asaba Yoweri. Joab. Asaba. Jo, asaba. Awa, Joab. 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 Joab was the chief of the captains of the, of the king's armies. Of the, of the armies of King David. And so Ahimaaz was requesting him to go and take the tidings. Uh, the, king, the news of what had happened on the battlefield. Are you following this morning? And Joab said unto him, Thou shalt not bear tidings this day, but thou shalt bear tidings another day. But this day thou shalt bear no tidings, because the king's son is dead. Then say Joab to Cushi, go tell the king what thou hast seen. And Cushi bowed himself unto Joab and ran. We'll read the rest when we are seated. Let us Father, we ask that you will come and bless us this morning. Take control of this service, Lord. From this time to the end of the preaching. And may we all be touched by the hand so tender. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You have your seats. To, the, to our visitors this morning, here we have no law, but love. We have no book but the Bible. We have no membership, but we only have fellowship. And everybody's welcome to fellowship with us. And uh, we believe that the blood of Jesus Christ washes and cleanses us from all sin. I'm going to preach, speak on run with the message. Brother Peter, I'm happy to see you. I'm glad that you made it this morning. I first spoke on this message, uh, I think, about um, 12 years ago. And then the, the, the only time I found that it was documented was in 18th of October, 2013. And uh, this is a very uh, touching message for me whenever I preach it. 
So I noticed I preached it also in Rukunjiri in 2013. So eight years later, nine years later, I've, I've picked an, an inspiration to speak on it again. And we are not done with the subject we were talking about. And those who missed the second part of it, please look it up on the podcasts uh, or on YouTube and please listen to it. The second part of uh, a woman of virtue. I spoke on that on Wednesday. But this morning I'm speaking on run with a message. Run with a message. But this morning I'm speaking on run with a message. Now we have had many people who come across us and they usually ask what is your religion? And we tell them we do not have any religion. And then others wanted to know what what our religious affiliation was. And we told them we do not have any either. We are simply Christians. The word Christian means you were following Jesus Christ. And so are you telling me the Catholics are wrong? I said no. I'm only saying I'm the original Catholic. Because Catholic means the, 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 the true church, the, the one worldwide church of Christ. So I am the true Catholic. I am the original Catholic. Because I am following Apostle Peter. And because Apostle Peter was one who actually was the pastor of the first church in Jerusalem. And I'm married. Just like he was married. So the Pope of Rome is not married. Papa wa Roma, muuru. He is a Baxillian Catholic. Mukatuli He is not the Catholic of the Bible. Siye mukatuli chwa Bible. But I am the Catholic of the Bible. Na yenze mukatuli chwa Bible. And I believe you are too. Eranzi kiri zana wodi. Well, I'm a Pentecostal. Nzendi mo Pentecostal. Why are you a Pentecostal? Why are you Pentecostal? Because I believe in Pentecost. Kubanga nzi kiri zama Pentecost. For the day of Pentecost, when the Spirit of God came down. Kuna kura Pentecost yomo. You know what happened? The, the, the Holy the, the Spirit of God, like tongues of fire, came and sat upon them. And then they all started speaking tongues. And to shout. And to dance. And I do that. I'm a Pentecostal. I'm filled with the Spirit of God. So, wow, well, are you confusing me? Are you not a Baptist? Yes, of course I am. Because I baptized. But I'm the true original Baptist. Because I baptize in the way they baptize in the Bible. In the Bible, they baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. And today, the Baptist church, the denomination, they baptize in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, like the Roman Catholics. So now, who is the true original Baptist? The one that will baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in much water. And that I am. So now, having a name does not mean you are what you call yourself. The Bible says, not, all, not all that say, Lord, Lord, will enter in. But they that do the will of my Father. And the will of the Father is the word of God. And if, no matter how big or beautiful your church is, if you do not do the will of the Father, you are not running with the true message. And I tell you, church, 
God promised in that in the last days he will send a prophet and he said he would have the anointing of Elijah on him and that his message would restore us back to the faith of our original Pentecostal father. And I want to announce to you this morning that man already came 50 years and left. But he left the message. What is the message? The message is that revelation which takes us back to the revelation of the Bible. We know that God uses men. God has always used men from the beginning. And if there is something man does not like is man coming to speak to him. But yet God has done it from time and time again. God has always used a man to speak to a man. If God would send an angel to you here this morning, he would. But he cannot. He has to use a man. A man who has a body like yours. For God, when he wanted to save mankind, he himself came down. But he came like a man. Why? Because to save a man, God needs to use a man. And not his church. In the same way, even in our generation, God has used a man. The people always receive the man. No. Not all the time. Does God stop using men? No. He always uses men whether some believe or some don't. But I, I am glad that in every generation there will be those that will believe. There will be those that will accept. There will be those that will receive the message that God will send in their generation. And I am glad that I can say I am one of them. Are you one of them this morning? I are you one of the receivers? Are you one of the believers? Hallelujah. Amen. And so run with the message. And there are many that have run. But they have no message to run with. There are many who have built big denominations. Big churches. They have big following. But they have no message to preach. And I want us to look at it here in a type with the story of the king and Absalom, his son. The Lord willing, I'll not be so lengthy this morning. And I request that you follow me with attention. Amina. Now, the king David reached a time when his sons grew. And each of them wanted to be a king next after him. But we know it was only uh, Solomon that was to be the king after him. And so then there was Absalom. Absalom was the son of the king. And Absalom wanted to be a king. And he thought he could overtake his father. And take over his kingdom. Do you know what? When you are anointed for a place, no man can move you. Not even your family members. Not even the outsiders. Hallelujah. Amen. You are planted on a rock 
You are planted to stay. That's why we say that Jesus is our solid rock. Where we are planted this morning. Nothing can move us. Hunger cannot move us. Hunger cannot move us. The world cannot move us. The cannot move us. Let the world do what they have to do. But we know where we are standing. Because we are standing on solid ground. We are standing on the world. We are standing on Christ. The solid rock. And we cannot be moved. I cannot be moved. Because I know where I am. I am not standing on any denomination. I am not standing on any religion. I am standing on the world. I cannot be moved. Hallelujah. Amen. Do I have someone who will stand with me? Who will stand with me on this message? I said this message is true. This message is the word of God. And I shall not be more. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And David could not be moved. So Absalom, Absalom took a, a group from his from the father's kingdom. Some soldiers that he convinced. And let me tell you, there are people who try to leave this message and they convince others to follow them. Thinking they will reign. But they cannot reign. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Absalom went. Absalom and the king David. He told uh, uh, Absalom. I told uh, Job. Nagamba Yoabu. He said, Job. Yoabu. You are my chief captain. I'm sending you. Kutuma. To go Ogende. and fight on my behalf. Oh, but for my son, Absalom, Absalom, if it is possible, please save him. Bambi, mutase. Even if he's my, he's my enemy, but I love him. So if it is possible, please save him. Bambi, and the heart of David was like that of God. The Bible says God is love. And it's not willing that any should perish. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you, if you are going to go to hell, oh, it's not because of God. No man goes to hell because of God. God doesn't want any man to go to hell. God wants all men to be and to come to the full knowledge of the word. Brother Branham said, but people, they fight their way to hell. God, through his word, listen church, he gives you mercy. He gives us mercy through his word. But what happened? Many people refuse that mercy. God gives you mercy. He says, please come to heaven. Receive the word. But some, uh, uh, this is very hard. Bikakali. Very hard. Bikakali. No, please receive. Now we Oh, it's very hard. Mukama now we visibu. Receive. Kiriza. And and God is pulling them to heaven. And they are pulling themselves to heaven. They are fighting. They are fighting. They are fighting. And some. Abam. They fight. Baruana. And win. And they go to hell. If you are seated this morning in this place, let me tell you, I do not know when, but if the Lord tarries, some of you will go by the way of the grave. 
some of you young when someone says that you feel like as if it will never happen but that's a reality of life if the Lord tarries some of you will go by that but how will you go? Are you fighting your way to hell? But I want to announce to you, none of you here has to go to hell. Because hell was made for the devil and his angels. That's what the Bible says. Therefore, I have, since I received Jesus Christ, I have no fear of going to hell. Hell is not my portion. I cannot go to hell. I am not hell bound. But some people, they fight their way to go to hell. You understand that you have to fight so much against the truth for you to go to hell. God is love and it is manifested through the heart of David. And he tells the uh, captain if it is possible save my son I want him alive. I know he's against me. I know he's against my kids. I know he's against everything. I love him. I love him with the love of a father. The heart of a father. And I don't want him to die. I want him to be saved. And that's the heart of the, of the, of, of the father today. He loves you. He loves you. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to go to heaven. He doesn't want you to be low. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Joab went to the battle. And as they were on the battlefront, listen this morning. As they were on the battlefront, Hallelujah. Amen. You can read it in, in Samuel. You know the 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 the, 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 war, the, the battalion or the uh, the, the, the group of of day of uh, uh, Job started to run. Job started to run after Absalom. And Absalom was running with his army. And they were on horses. And as they, they ran and tried to fight. You know, then the, the, the horse, the horse of, uh, of Absalom Absalom ran straight towards a tree and uh, there, there was like a, a something that held it and Absalom was squeezed between those two trees. and he was not yet totally dead but when Joab reached there Joab knew Joab what he has to do at that moment he was like the angel of death at that moment he was like the angel of death because Absalom did not have the blood applied. So Absalom simply, Joab simply finished off Absalom. And Joab and Absalom died. And then after the death of Absalom, there was a big tumult. Oh, a big shout, a big confusion. People were running here. Others running there. Others running there. The king's son is dead. The king's son is dead. The rebel of King David is dead. Also, the king's son. Do you understand? For a king's son to die, it is not a simple thing. There was a lot of akabiangatano. Why was desperation in Nene? Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody running here. Nobody wants to do it, but you must do it. And then Ahimaz, Katiao Ahimaz. Who was a son of Zadok? He came quickly. And he came to where Joab was. He told him, 
Oh, Job. Bambi, oh, Abu. Let me now. Zikiriza kati. Oh, hallelujah. Let me. Zikiriza. Go and run to the king. Ngene wa kabaka. And let me tell him. Mugambe. That his son. Mutimotaba niwe. Is dead. Afude. He actually. Amazima. Here is the interesting part. Waneno we wali akasanyusa. The way I brought it. I was just excited like Akimaz was. But Akimaz did not actually know that the king's son is dead. Notice his words. Let me now run and bear the king tidings. How about the Lord of the him of his enemies. Let me go and tell the king how all his enemies are avenged. How the Lord has fought for him. Now, this man, do you think he knew what happened? Was he even there? Answer me, church. He wasn't. He didn't know the message. But he had loud noises and confusions and desperation. And Job said to him, Thou shalt not bear tidings this day, but thou shalt bear tidings another day. Let me emphasize something here, church. In every generation, God has a message. And God has a messenger. Did you hear me? If you heard me, shout amen. In every generation, God has a message and God has a messenger. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no generation that has ever passed without a message and a message. The messenger comes to bring a message. And when people receive that message, it will break them and put them in the way God wants them to be. But the problem of it is many have run without a message. Many have gone without a message. Without we have many churches without a message. We have many preachers without a message. You go to church to hear something for your soul. But what you hear is nonsense. And yet people pay money for that. But I tell you in this generation, we have a message. God has sent us a message. Because in every generation, Sends a message. It is a message. To prepare the people for the second coming of Jesus Christ. We have had seven days, seven generations, and from the first, called Ephesus, the second, Simona, Pegamos, up to the seventh one, called Laodicea. In all these generations, they represent seven days. And where are we? We have arrived on the seventh one. And where we are, we just like in the generations before, we must have a messenger with a message to restore us back the foundations of the Bible and prepare us for the coming of the Lord. And so Job said, you will not go. This is not your day to bear tidings. This is not your day to bear the message. And Job said, to Kush, there was another one that God had ordained to go and take the message. 
if you I, I want you to follow me here as I make this foundation. Because if you lose the, the beginning, you will not get anything. And I always appreciate questions afterwards. I appreciate those who always write me after the meeting and ask me, what did you mean by this? There are those who do that, and I appreciate that. I'm always available for you. Then said Joab to Kushi. Go tell the king what you, listen, have seen. <laughs> and Kushi bowed himself unto Joab and Meanwhile, Meanwhile, there was Ahmad. Who was on fire? Let me go. He saw nothing. He knows nothing. And then there is Kush. Who was called? Said, go. And tell the king. And he was standing. Humble. He says yes. Go and tell the king what you have seen. And he bowed himself unto Job. And he said, All right. Let me go and tell the And he ran. Where is Ahmad's? Akimasa aliwa. Akimas is still around. Akimasa achariwo. He's blaring like fire. Aliwa tukotanga muriro. Then say that Akimas, the son of Zadok. Akimas, the son of Zadok. Yet again to John. Na jera na tewa yob. But I was so happy. Na gama na ye. Whether you had or not. Oba na uri do ba sauri. Whether so or not. Oba salabi. Please. Bambi. Let me. Kamale. Please listen carefully. Uri diza no boy genderiza. We have had people in our generation who have come and said God called them and God sent to them. I want you to examine these two men. Akimas and Kush. The difference between their calling is Kush never availed himself. Kush was just waited for the calling. And the job told him, Kushi, come here. Kushi, Go and tell what you have seen. All right? Mm. That's exactly how Jesus called the disciples. Yes, what we are eating by eating. Go and tell. Now, in the same way, we find Akimas who did not wait to be called. He came by himself and he said, I'm available. I feel. I, I see. I am just all excited. Send me. And they refused. And he said, No. Send me. Those are the preachers we have today. They even go on the mountain for one month, two months, telling God to send them. And when God finally says, Okay, you can go, what have they done? They have preached false gospel. And I will show you here in a moment. Now we see that Akimas said, no, let me, please. Let me. I pray me. Let me also run after Kushi. And Job said, what a far would thou run? My son, why did you, why would you run? Seeing that thou hast no tidings ready. Why do you run without a message? There is a little, uh, some men who came preaching at a certain house. And this house was of 
message believers. And the little children who were there, they said, let us give these men a word test. Sirs, what age are we in? And the men answered, we are in Mutebi's age. The children laughed and laughed. Do you realize we have many preachers on pulpits even now? Who do not know what age we are living in? What are they preaching? What age are we living in? We are in the last age. What's the name of the age? According to Revelation 3, it is called Laodicea. It is the very last age. What is it comprised of? It is comprised of people who are religious. They have a form of God. But they deny the power of the gods. The Bible says they are wretched. They are poor. They are blind. And they don't know. The Bible says they should come to the Lord and buy of him. Gold dried in the fire. They should come to the Lord and get eyesight for the eye that they may see. They should come to the Lord and they receive a new garment. What is the gold? Dried in the fire. It is the message of the hour. What is the eye self for the eye. I said it is the message of this day. When you receive the message of your day, you are rich. You may not have a million on your pocket, but you are rich. You are rich. You are rich. Hallelujah. Amen. You may not have I, 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 whatever I am, but you have myself. You can see. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the age we are living in. Of people who are holy by their mouth. They are righteous by the way they speak. In the church, they are angels. When you go out, they are devils. They, they speak like angels. They live like devils. A man of God leaves the pulpit. And then he goes to a brothel. Brothel, my brother. Brothel. You don't know brothel. Prostitute's house. A I speaking lies? I am speaking lies. Is this not true? Simazima. Younger ladies and younger men. They come on the pulpit. They throw their legs. As it were, as if they were worshipping God. And then after that. They go to prostitution. Fornication. To them, fornication is normal. To others, they have said grace is enough. And when you talk to them, they say, don't judge me. Where you have girls, they are Literally, this makes me feel like crying. Do you remember the time I was driving around with one of these land developers. And he told me he didn't even know I'm a pastor. And so he started to talk to me. And he said, oh, we passed a church. I said, oh, these churches. Me have decided never to go back to any church. And I told him why. He said one day, I was invited to the church by my friend who is a preacher. When I reached there, I could literally not, I wasn't comfortable. 
I said, why? Nagam, so when I sat down, Nagam, we are there was a lady, one of the choir leaders. Oh, mukuba, kurembeze, baba, yimbi. She sat in front. Ya tura maso. And she did not even have inner garments. Ngata yamba dena bwa munda. And whenever she moved, she would move with my heart. I came to church to seek God. I left. I went to church to seek God. I left. As immoral as immoral could be. And he said, I even noticed. The pastor was distracted. I said, I even noticed. The pastor was distracted. He would try to preach. Whatever I thought you were sorrowing saliva. And they spoke after the church. Him, both of them. And everyone was saying, oh, pastor. You cannot preach, I also saw you. Oh, pastor. And the pastor laughed. But I tried my best. I said, I have been distracted. They know. But you know. But why do they still call them churches? It's what the Bible prophesied would happen in the end time. People have a form of godliness. But they deny the power. What is the power? The power is the word which will change you. The power is the message embedded in this Bible. What do you tell you, sister? Grace modestly. Dress like a woman. Christ will tell you, young man. Dress like a young man. Dress like a boy. Behave like one. Waste and go you find boys behaving like cows. Like cows behaving like cows. Oh, what a generation we have. But this is called Laodicea. It means people's rights. This is the generation of people's rights. Where you don't speak these things. They call it and categorize it as hate speech. And they will block you from their churches. You can't preach that. Because if you preach it, people will go. And when people go, and they will go. And why are they preaching? The Bible says their God is their stomach. I'm opening your eyes this morning. I'm showing you we have something different. I'm showing you we have a message to run with. We have a message to run with. We are not here running in vain. We have a cause. We have a reason. We are not just starting another church. No, 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 no. no. This is not just another church. Wake up, my people. This is the message. And we are running with it. We are telling our generation there is a better life. There is a better God. We believe it. And we are running with it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And Kushi bowed himself. And Kushi began running. Hallelujah. Amen. The brethren in the tent. Uh, two or three can come and find their way inside here. We have seats. Praise the name of the Lord. Then say to Job. And to Kushi. Uh, then Job said to Kushi. Go tell the king what thou hast seen. Follow me here now. 22. Then I must say to Zadok, but how will I, will you go? But also ever let me, I pray thee, okay, we'll finish that. Then now verse 23. It says, but let me go. Let me run. Let me run. And he said unto him, run. Now, 
You've heard many times people saying God called me to preach and I am a woman. They even have proof of that. I will not say God never called you. But wait a moment. Who called Kush? Who called, who called Ahmaz? Who sent him? Was it not the same one who sent Kush? He told Kush, run. And then he told, look at it, verse 23. And he said unto him, because he says, please let me run. He said, okay. Run. Now, what's the difference? Both of them were sent to run. But one of them never had a message and was not actually supposed to run from the, to begin with. But because he really wanted, God gave him a permissive will. We have two wheels of God. And the permissive will. The perfect will is already here. Brother Martin, Martin, if you decide to go to God and pray, please give me a second wife. Is it your will? No, no, I'm like, is it is it your will or God's will? It's your will, right? But where is God's will? And so shall a man leave his, his mother and, and, and father and be joined unto his wife? And they, shall, they twain shall be one flesh. God has intended for one man, one wife. But if you go and begin, God, please. And we have them. Who have come and said, God spoke to me. And he even gave me a sign. And even I dreamed a dream with a name of the second wife that I would marry. And I even saw a phone number. And I even called that number and she was the exact one that God had showed me. So church, I am in the will of God. This second woman is really from God. If you ask the, this pastor we have here who married a second wife, he's confident. He said, God is will. I get the, the will of God says that a pastor, a bishop, must have one wife. The moment you get a second one, according to God, you are fired. But they have the second. Number. What is it? Permissive will. And you know, when God lets them, He doesn't destroy them. And that's when they think, oh, God is with us. God let. But Ahimaaz was not running in a perfect will of God. Now I'm going to show you something here. A woman preacher standing and saying, God called me. Sister, check your calling. First, is it in the will of God? How can God call you and then say, I forbid a woman to teach or to assert authority over a man? Does God contradict himself? God does not contradict himself. Hallelujah. Amen. God is ever faithful. God keeps his word and he keeps his promises. So pastor, are you telling me that all these churches with women leading them are wrong? The Bible says Bible that if the leader be blind, then he leaves the blind, they all fall into the ditch. 
That's what is the medicine for blindness? The message, the word of God. Receive the message and run with the message. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So, Pastor, those are small, small things. Why are you preaching no small, small things? Let me tell you, there is no small word and big word. Every word of God is the perfect word of God. And every word of God is big. He's strong. He's powerful. Doesn't he say that his word is powerful? It is like a two-edged sword. So therefore, do not take out what you want and leave what you don't want. Eat every word. Eat every word. Every word. Take every word. Because all of God's word is perfect. You don't need to, to, to cleanse it around. When God gave his word, he didn't give first edition, second edition, third edition. His word is the perfect edition. He cannot be revised. It cannot be changed. It is permanent. It worked million uh, thousands of years ago. It works today. Amen. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. This requirement two thousand years ago. It's the same today. The same God then. It's the same God today. Today. Am I preaching to someone here today? That God never changes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us follow this story. And so. Ahima started running. And the Bible says. He ran. Ahimaaz ran by the way of the plain. <laughs> and he overran Kushi. Nice <laughs> Kushi. Kushi was running. Kushi aliaduka. Stay in the line. Kushi had a message. Kushi alinobaka. And Kushi was not bothered. I am running. I am running the Zilu race of my life. I have received a message. I know I'm going to the road. I know what I have. And what I have. The devil never gave it to me. I know where I am going. I am not bothered by the world. Even if I'm going through valley. The mountain. I know where I am going. I know who called me. I know who sent me. And I know what I have. I am running the rest of my life. I am running. I am running. Is anybody running this morning? What do you think? Who is not bothered by anything? I am not bothered by the world. I am not bothered by that church. I am not bothered by the problems I have in my life. I am not bothered by what I don't have. Because I know three things. I know who called me. I know who I am. And I know where I am going. Hallelujah. Amen. I know who called me sister. Amen. I know who I am. And I know where I am going. Hallelujah. Amen. And what I have. It came from God. He that is in me. Oh, yeah. Greater than he that is in the world. That's why I'm not bothered. That's why I'm not bothered, my brother. That's why I'm not bothered, my brother. And that is why I'm excited. Because I know who I am. I know what I have. I know where I am going. And I know who sent me. And I'm running. This race. With patience. I am running. With patience. Is there somebody running this morning? Are you running with patience? Are you running, Sister Dorothy? Hallelujah. Sister Emma. Are you running this morning? Are you running? Brother Solomon. Are you running? If you're running, say amen. 
and then came another one. Umar uh, Najja. Kush. Kush. Ahmas. Ahmas Najja. Ahmas had a big leg. Ahmas yari na maguru amanene. He didn't want to know. You, you are running. Oduka. In this narrow way. Mukaguba <laughs> kafunda. You run in your narrow way. Wetu kila mukafunda ako. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. 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 Don't do If you are you don't have money it means you have a car. Kwa tolina simbi oli kech kolimo. If you have money it means God has blessed you. Boboli na send nje kaza kana kwa domu. And they begin preaching. Ne baboli la. Hallelujah. Today. Lero. All of you. We now with cassette. Abanye bikolimo. I'm going to break. Ngenda pime nya. Who are you to break that? Bwani amenye bikolimo. You are cast yourself. Na woli kech kolimo. Ni ndoto menye byabalala. That's the kind of gospel they are, they are preaching. Eyo yenjiri je baboli la. The plan. No problem. They just run. Baduka. Two hundred kilometers per hour. Ah, mumu. So we move baduka. My little kumi. Speed. Speed. And as as Akimazu was running, Akimazu was running. Pushy was running. Baduka. Akimazu came. Akimazu. The man can run. So they must do it. I believe Kush might have been tempted. Maybe I should change my way. But he said, ah, ah, ah. I know who I am. I know who sent me. I know where I am going. I know what I have. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I shall not be moved. Though all hate are me. I shall not be moved. That's like a tree momoti planted by the water side ogusimbidwa kumabaliga shall not be sidi sigulibwa hallelujah amen he said i'm not going anywhere i keep on running i run with the message hallelujah amen and the arguments i want you to see here and the outrun kush namuyisa And look at verse 27. Don't worry, God knows who is who. Look at verse 27. And the watchman said, "Oh, my God, 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 my And the king said, "He is a good man. I'm such a mronji, and cometh with good tidings." You know, what I love is, I love the attitude of God. God doesn't see the way we see. <laughs> Amen. The watchman is the preacher. Omo kumi yemuburizi. Is so. And he was able to judge. Na alamula. But God. Never judge. But nonetheless, the watchman was right. Did you know that many times what you see is actually what God sees, but God keeps quiet. Uh, but that doesn't mean he's stupid. He Watch his actions. But notice, as I must was running, the watchman said, ah, ah, me think it no oza the running of this foremost ona ali masens ilukaye the way is running and it just come like the running of akimas ah let me call akimas i believe akimas was running with cross legs akimas ali kaya ali dukana amaguru asazeko kind of embaliga brother to my embaliga ni embaliga you know wa 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 So then the watchman said, "The way that man is running, I can tell. I see the trousers. Yet she's a woman. I can see the miniskirt. I can see the miniskirt. Ah, surely I can tell. 
He's not a young man with a girlfriend. He is not married yet. I can see. Ah. And I can tell the way she is running is the running of Ahimaz. Why? Oh, goodness. Ahimaz did not have a message. Let me tell you, church. No matter which country you go to, if you find a message believer, talk to him one minute. You will know them. Amen. I've been to many countries. But whenever I meet a brother or a sister, I know them. And they know me. One day I was at the airport in China. I met a black man I had never met before. But this man had a book. And it was a book that I knew. Amen. So I looked at him and said, Brother, brother God bless you. He said, Ah, oh, God bless God you, brother. brother. We were, I believe the others were saying, oh, Did you know these people know them? We didn't know one another. But we came from one source. Our running was the same. And one day I was in Lagos, Nigeria. And I met another man. Hallelujah. Amen. And this man, I had never met him. But I noticed him looking at me seriously. I believe he was saying, no, is it Kuchi is running or is it Akimaz is running? <laughs> and then finally, no, he said, no, Brother, God bless you. I said, Are you a brother? No, I'm a brother. You know, <laughs> when you meet a believer, <laughs> we have some passwords we use. <laughs> Even if it's a Pentecostal greeting, you will know this one is not yet running the, 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 with the message. <laughs> you will know. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. He said, and then ah. we had the brother. We were so happy with one another. <laughs> and we exchanged contact. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> it's running. It's like running. <laughs> Look at the cross legs. Look at the way he's. Look at Look at Are you seeing him? Are you seeing him? As if he's cross legged. He just goes here and there, here and there. You know, cross legs. Cross legs can step where they are not supposed to step. He's running as he's taking some alcohol. He's running as they are buying one. Pastor Joe, I am a believer. But God understands. The flesh is flesh. You see, you see the crossed legs. God knows. Even if I don't pray, I have to look for money. Have you seen the crossed legs? He runs crossing here, there, where? He doesn't have a message. Then the king said, I know he's a good man. But the king was also, I know he's a good man. But uh, let us see him coming. Maybe he has good news. And then when he arrived, what happened? Meanwhile, Kushi was still running. Not yet arrived. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. And the king said, And Akim has called. Before he arrived where the king was, he was already calling. And he said unto the king, all is well. All is well. Those are the pictures we have today. 
You find them going on the tables. Oh, ah, ah. Take it. Hey. Receive it. You are shouting for what? Tell us the message. You see? We want the food. We, I want something I can receive. And I can eat for my soul. Well, what is the shouting about? Don't shout to me without a message. All is well. And he fell down now, on the earth. Upon his face before the king, and he said, When he was down, Blessed be the Lord, Blessed be the Lord, I go. Has delivered you. Has delivered men. It was a big show. Oh, He's a spiritual man. Have you seen him in tanks? Have you seen the tanks? He's a spiritual. That is why how they lie to you. They are there on the TV. Oh God, I want to be like this man. How sure are you that is not running like a? Just every spirit. Kema. 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 Prove all things. So You prove it by the Bible. Not by how the man is acting. The man shouted. He fell down. Now go and sing. He praising the. Now tender is a kavaka. Blessed be the Lord God. He has delivered us. Oh, yeah, the man. That lifted up their heart. Against my Lord, the King. How does it feel? It feels like a fire. And as he was speaking. I believe if there was a congregation. They would be shouting fire. fire. And the king said. The king was not moved by all that comedy. He was waiting for the message. And after the man finished his comedy, the king spoke. Is the young man Absalom say? And remember the king said, maybe this man is bringing the message. So let's wait and see. Now that the man has arrived, and he has shouted and made all the comments. The king asks him, Is the younger man Absalom safe? And I must answer. When Joab sent the king his servant, <laughs> and me, thy servant. Hallelujah. I saw a great tumor. But I knew not what. What? <laughs> me, your king is sad. When me was sent, so me, 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 me. Man of God, Man of God. Me, I can bless you, me, I can trust you. Nonsense. Listen. The king was waiting for the message. I saw a great tumor. I saw it in my spirit. But I knew not what it was. Yeah, so you don't know. All this comedy was for nothing. So you don't know. So you don't have a message. Why are you running? Why are you a Christian? What do you have? That the world does not have. And such if you are a believer and you don't have something the world doesn't have, revise your purpose. Why are you running to begin with? Why are you called a believer? They cannot see the difference at work. If they can't see the difference between you and 
girls. So why are you running? Run with a cold. Run with a message. And I'm telling you, we're not just another church. We have a reason. So why we are preaching. We have a reason. So we go on the streets to preach. We have a reason. So why we do what we do. Why we do it the way we do it. We have a cause. And I will tell you what it is. We have a message. Message. And the message is the message of the cross. The message. The message is the message of the rapture. The rapture is our call. This message is the rapture. We have had a message. Vividly telling us that is a bride that is going in the rapture and she's being prepared by a method of Malachi. No. And this message is taking her. One of these days, after all the preparation, some of these people who are thinking we are comedians, they will look and see us no more. Because we shall be gone. I will be gone. I will no longer be here. And I'm telling you, this is not a story. I am not speaking like us. I am speaking with surety. With assurance. And I know what I'm talking about. From the moment I received the Holy Ghost, I knew what it is about. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know one thing. This old world. I never hold me any moment. I will be gone any moment. Tell somebody. Any moment I will be gone, brother. Any moment I will be gone. So give me money. Give me money. Oh, don't give me. Give me love. Oh, don't give me. Oh, don't give, me. Oh, don't give me. Give me riches. Oh, don't give me. Oh, don't give me. Give me cars. Oh, don't give me. Oh, give me wife. Oh, don't give me. Oh, don't give me. Give me children. Oh, leave it. I know where I am going. I am not saved for the things that I will get. I am saved for where I am going. Oh, Amen. Amen. Oh, 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 so you don't know. You heard the noise, but you didn't understand. So the king said unto him, Verse 30. Turn aside. <laughs> and stand here. <laughs> and he turned aside. And he stood. Hey, Mr. Man. Get up. Mr. Man. Get up. Stand there. <laughs> That's the right word. <laughs> with them. It was finished. He didn't have any more to say. Oh, I remember <laughs> the scripture that says <laughs> many will come unto me. <laughs> Didn't we heal the sick? <laughs> We even raised the dead in your We name. brought many souls to you in your name. And you will say, I am sorry. I never knew you. Turn aside. That's what will happen. How come? They heal the sick. They deliver the bound. They open the eyes of the blind. They never walked in their They had big congregation. They made many miracles. Many souls come to the earth. On that day, Jesus will say, I never knew you. 
The reason is not because they healed the sick. Ensonga sinti bawo nyabarwa. The reason is not because they raised the dead. Sinti bantu kizabapo. The reason is not because Ensonga sinti they brought many souls. Bale tememe nyi. The reason is because Ensonga eri they never had the message. Tebali na bubaka. They ran but without a message. Baduka nga tebali na bubaka. And behold at that very moment. Mukasera Verse 1. Kuchu said, Tidings, my Lord, the King. I can begin to feel the anointing in the room. The moment Kuchu walked in. Hallelujah. And he stood. He didn't do the comedy. He didn't do it. So he didn't do the comedy of people. He said, he said, he said, and he said, Tidings, my Lord the King. For the Lord has avenged thee this day of all of them that rose up against thee. Now, that's something close to what uh, Ahimaz had said. Only it was said in a different atmosphere. But the king was still patient. And the king said unto Kushi. Same question. Did the younger man Absalom say? And Kushi answered. The enemies of the Lord, the king. And all that rise against thee to do thee hurt. Because the moment. There is a comma. So he paused. And there was tension in the room. The king wanted to hear. My boy, like those enemies. Sleeping. Tell me, tell me. And Kush first the moment. And then he said, Be as that young man is. What does that mean? All your enemies are dead in front of your boy. And the king was much moved. The king was much moved. Look, let me tell you. Kambabuli. We are looking for people with a message. Which will move people. Which will move souls. Where you have been a sinner. And this message will make you holy. This message will cleanse you up. This message will wash you. With the water of the word. Where you will become pure. Where you have been doing that, doing this, doing that. But this message will cleanse you. Will you. Amen. Amen. You will go through the three stages. It will justify you. Sanctify you to perceive and then fill you with the Holy Ghost. That's the kind of message we are looking for. And he went down to the chamber Nake. over the gate and he went. Nagenda Munziji Nakaba. And as he went, thus he said, Oh, my son, Absalom, my son, my son, Absalom. Would God I had died for thee, oh, Absalom, my son, my son. Hebrews 12, 1. What of a thing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and uh, the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Yeka omukuru wako kiliza kwa fe. O era omutu kiliza wako. Uruwe sanyo eria. Eria tekeba mumasoke. E ya gumi kiliza omusalaba. Nga nyome nsonyi. 
Natula kumkono ogwadio ogwentebe ya katonda. Hallelujah. Do I have some cushions here this morning? Wale walo kuba cushions ya lero. Let us run. Okay. You see, we are compassed with a great crowd of witnesses. Did you know there are many around us this morning, church? Sister Grace, do you know that? There are many around us here this morning. Many around us here, Brother Peter. And they are telling us, you can make it. I made it in my generation. Daniel is here this morning. He's a witness of this kind of running. He said, I made it in my day. A bad nego is here. He's saying, I made it. He's saying, I made it. They're all saying, we made it. You sisters, Sarah, who was a good housewife, said, I made it. She raised Isaac in a God-fearing way. She said, I made it. You two can make it. All the brothers and women and men of faith. Talk about the Bora. She said, I married. Talk about all these brothers and sisters. I cannot tell you they're here. You don't see them. Because we are in another lower dimension. But they are here. In another dimension. And they are witnesses. The Bible says they have encamped around us. We are come, we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. There are far. No, there are far. No, Let us not lose faith. Let us not lose faith. He says, let us lay aside every weight. What weight do you have this morning? Lay aside. Lay aside. Lay aside every weight. Lay aside the sin which so does which does so easily beset us. Hmm. Hmm. The sin. Lay it aside. Lay it aside this morning. And let us run. Let us run. Who is going to run this morning? Like Kush Rain. Let us run. Let us run. With patience. This race that is set before us. No matter what comes my way. Oh Lord, I will receive this message. I'm going to be determined, Lord. To run. Is there someone who is determined to run? Let us run to Duke. Young people, let us run. Young ladies, let us run, brother. Let us run to Duke. This race that is set before us. Let us lay every sin aside. Let us lay every weight aside. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us lay these things aside. Let us lay it aside. To be taken, buddy. When you receive this message, you have received Christ. Lay everything aside. Lay everything aside. Lay your religion aside. Lay your denomination aside. Lay your tribe aside. Lay everything aside. And let us run. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my, tell somebody else from Gambo to Duke. Who are we looking at? I God sent a prophet. God sent a prophet. And his name is William Branham. But I'm sorry. Name on We are not looking at Brother Branham. God has sent you a pastor. And his name is Musumba. But I'm sorry. We are not looking at him. If you look at me, you are lost. Want to know it or who say? If you look at me, you are low. Want to know it or who If you look at a man, you are low. Want to know it or who say? Looking unto Jesus. Want to know it or who say? Jesus only. Yes, ye ka. Jesus only. Yes, ye ka. A man will fail. O muntu aja kuiwa. A man will fail. O muntu aja kuiwa. Jesus will never fail. Yes, to get somebody to kuiwa. Let us run. To do it. Looking unto Jesus. That's what we need. Yes. The author and the finish of our faith. O muntu andi sino mo marisa wako kiri zafu. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the beginning of our faith. Yo, ya kandi koko kiri zafu. He is the finish of our faith. Ya marisa koko kiri zafu. Glory to God. Echiti wa chedire katon.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in a message demonology, and I'll, I'll, I'll just take, take about 15 minutes and I get done. The, the message demonology. The prophet says that there's a, a true and false everything. If you have a dollar, and I say, is this a good dollar? And you look at it and it would have to look pretty much like a real dollar or you wouldn't believe it. So it will have to be a real good imitation. And if Jesus said that there are two spirits in the last days that would be so close to it would deceive the very elect. Religious people. Now remember now, there, are, there ain't nothing out there in them old, cold, formal, outside. It's talking about those kind of religions. They have just a form of God. But these two spirits are a real spirits. It would be so close to you, it would deceive the very elect. And it would be working side by side. In Matthew 24, 23, says, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. And, and they will show great signs and great wonders. In so much that if it were possible that they should deceive or they will, they shall rather deceive the very elect. And Jesus said, Behold, I've told you before. Yes, we are and I want to ask you this morning. Can the elect be deceived? Jesus said, if it is possible, if it was possible, they should, they shall deceive the very If singa, what does it mean? It is not possible. This makes my heart jump for joy. It is not possible. It cannot be possible. It will not be possible. It will never be possible. For the elect to be the same. For me to be the same. For you to be the same. Thank God for the elect. Come on, be the same. We have been marked by his mark. Just like the devil has marked his people already. People talk about the mark of the beast, they have no idea what it is. The mark of the beast is the mark of the Antichrist. The mark of the beast is the mark which, listen, which you receive because you have rejected the truth after it has been presented to you. You receive it by rejecting the truth. People are not going to receive it then. In the tribulation, they will already have it. So, when are they receiving it? Now, where? In the churches. The mark of the beast. The same way people are receiving the mark of God. What is the mark of God? The genuine Holy Spirit. When are the people receiving him? Today. In the churches. If you don't receive the mark of Christ you receive the mark of the beast and you hear in the Bible that water baptism is mandated for every Christian and also you hear that you must hear first and believe by your own self. Having heard that, then the Bible says, Bible you will be baptized in much water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. After hearing that, and you turn it down, you receive a mark. Not of Christ, Sika Christo, but of the beast. 
and so is every word of God that is here. In the message, the mark of the beast, Brother Banam says, and there is going to be a group of people that's going to be marked for destiny in hell. And there is going to be a people marked for their eternal destiny in heaven. And these two marks run side by side. If you have your Bible, look at Acts chapter 2, verse 38. How do you receive the mark of God? And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sin. And you shall receive the mark of Christ, the Holy Ghost. If you reject it, in other words, I could also read that scripture. Vice versa. Turn down repentance. Turn down water baptism. Turn down baptism in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you shall receive the mark of the beast. It's right there in the Bible. And people think you receive the mark of the beast by buying something. It is right here. Ahima's message was, all is well. But the true message will not be focused on entertaining you in having a good time in preaching the prosperity gospel. You know, People come from church. Oh my. They, they have long nails like as if they are the devil themselves. Even they can't cry for the Lord. Because if they dare cry, they can't pay their eyes. So they just have to be like this. And they come from church. Ah, ah. We are the Good time. We had a good time. Good time was that. They are dressed as if they are about to fall down. Oh. Pastor, Pastor, man of God, you really gave oh. us a good time. Today. Did they answer God? What good time? Because he entertained them. They, they had a he told them they're going to be rich. You are not going to eat uh, 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 beans today. I am a professor. And at the end of the prophecy, I tell you, you have done everything you have. That professor will Bring better. Even God is singing a trust. Bring it here. And then that professor will run. Then the people ran. They, they didn't go walking, they ran. Like Akimazim said. They put them in the car. The man of God smiles. I am sure again. Then. At the end of the day, they say we had a good time. Then they go back home. Me, I'm not going to eat beans. The man of God prophesied over me. Brother, sorry, sister, sorry. Beans are waiting for you. When they reach there, they will eat beans, of course. And nothing will tell them that they received the wrong prophecy. If I give you a prophecy, sister, that you will not eat bean, you should find meat on your door. Or someone should bring meat. But you should not eat beans. Because it wasn't me who said it. It was God who said it. Now what is happening with this first prophecy? And people are blinded. Because they're excited. The devil knows people want things which excite them. Things which make them feel good. Prosperity. You are going to prosper. 
You see, God wants you to prosper. God, you know, when I begin talking about some of oh, you, God, yes, Pastor, preach on. Makes you feel good. But really, it's inspiring you. But it has no effect. Unless you apply the principles of the word. You will not prosper. I think about two Sundays ago, I preached on prosperity here. And the type of prosperity I preached, no one would want to hear. Because I preached on titles and offerings. The principles of the word. If you want to prosper, do them. Don't be for prayer. Simply fulfill what the word says. And your blessing is right there. Also. Hallelujah. Man. And, and, and Brother Branham says in the message, Elijah. Let's look back again. Ahab, oh, in that day when he wouldn't listen to the prophet, the prophet tried to speak to him. He wouldn't do it. He listened to his wife. Good time. Prosperity. Gaiti. Carry on. That's why the world is swallowed up in today. I think the bride of God holds to say fire on that kind of thing. The bride of God doesn't know how to burn. Say fire! The kind of gospel. Fire! The kind of gospel. Yes. If they are saying fire, we ought to say fire on the right thing. God bless you, brother. Amen. They stay home to listen to some kind of radio program or television program. Oh, and it says the American people, they want to be entertained. I want to say the Ugandan people, all the people, they want to be entertained. When they get a preacher, if he's not a good entertainer, oh, they don't want him. They will vote him out. They want to be entertained. But God don't send, send entertainers. God sends preachers of the gospel to preach at the gospel of Christ. The power of his resurrection. And I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the power of resurrection. And every man that believes and every man that accepts it is born again. And outside of that, you are lost. And um, the Bible clearly says, would say, Apostle Paul in the book of Galatians. Apostle Paul, one six. I marvel that a year soon removed from the gospel. From him that called you. Into the grace of Christ. And you have moved on to another gospel. And he said, listen. It is not another gospel. But there are some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. I was only 13 years. 14 or thereabout. And I asked my mother a question. I said, Ma, was I baptized? She said, yes, of course. We are at religious home. You, especially you, you were baptized. And I even have your pictures. So she brought pictures. 
proof of my water baptism. And she brought out pictures. I wanted to see myself being baptized. And I saw a little boy who I did not recognize crying. And I saw a man wearing robes powering water on this boy's hair. And my mother nodded to me. Now this was you being baptized. This is your Godfather. And this was the priest. And I said, praise the Lord. Ma'am. But I said, that's not me. Which proof do I have? The Bible says, go to the world Christian gospel to every creature. He that believes. He that believes. For the moment, how can you believe? The Bible says that the, the word is on your mouth. Even the word of that we preach, the word of salvation. Then he says that whosoever that shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But then he said, how can they be saved that if they don't call upon him? And how can they call on him except they know him? And how shall they know him without a preacher? And how shall a preacher preach except God sends a preacher? God sends Kushi Kuchi speaks the word and the king breaks down. In the same way, God sends a preacher. The preacher preaches the word and you break down. You are touched. You are convinced. You are concerned. And you make up your mind. No salary. To do the right thing. How can a baby of four months, six, seven days? How can such a baby make such a, a decision? He can't. But the Godfather makes the decision for you. Where do you find such a gospel in the Bible? If you go to this priest, I love them. My father was one. If you go to them, I was raised by them, by the way. For 13 years of my life. Years. But when you go to them, I ask them because I asked one of them. Not my father. But the bishop. Higher order. I asked him a question. Where do we find God fathers in the Bible? He didn't show you to me. He showed me a prayer book. When did the prayer book replace the Bible? This is not a book of reference. This is not a book of reference. This is the absolute. Whatever it says, amen to it. Therefore, where did they get the good fathers from? Where did they get child baptisms? Where did they get the trinity from? The Bible says, it's not another gospel. There are some men who came and they trouble you and they trouble us by perverting the gospel of Christ. In some places it says they crept in our and they are on the pulpit even this morning and they are teaching things which are not in the Bible in the name of this is the doctrine of our church if the doctrine of your church is anti-war it means it is anti-Christ and if it is anti-Christ it means the receivers of that kind of gospel are receiving the mark of the business so you see how important it is in, even for where you go to hear the word be sure 
They are preaching the truth of the Bible. And, and let me tell you, church. The church doesn't like this kind of preaching. They don't like it anymore. Do you think it makes me feel good? When I blast wrong doctrine. When I blast wrong teaching. It seems as if I'm attacking this people. I don't find, you, you know, uh, joy in doing that. But I'm under obligation to do that. Every preach of the gospel is under obligation to do that. So the sender is Jesus Christ and he expects us to fulfill our job. So I am doing my job. Just like you are going to go here in the morning, you are going to go and do your job. Can you allow me to do my job also? They do their jobs. When they come to Sunday, they want to tell the pastor how to do his job. It's a disgrace. It's a chance. But the gospel church is not following after signs and wonders. But signs and wonders must follow the true gospel. Signs and wonders must follow the true gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. And actually, Brother Banham says in a, in a message, a missionary talk, he says, a man can only qualify himself as a believer until this has Happen. The gospel cannot come through word only. But through power and through manifestation of the Holy Spirit. How many believe that? And if this doesn't happen, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's not yet until that gets to happen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm trying to find a place to stop now. Let's run with the message. Let me finish with this point. The seal of God. The gospel will be preached. What gospel? What is the gospel? Not the word only. Paul said the gospel comes to us not in word only, but through power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Paul said, I never come with some seminary education. Some making big swelling words for your salvation to be based upon swelled words. And enchanting lips. Let me tell you, these men know how to speak. Until you'll be glued there. If this is not true, then there is not true. It's not about how well a man speaks. It's the content. Some doxology or apostles' creed or something like that. I never come to you like that. But I come to you, Paul says. I come to you, I'm quoting here. To you, knowing only one thing. The power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. And he says, hallelujah. God give us, God give us some more Paul. With great powerful punches. That will lay out there without uh, without some seminary gloves on. You get a point. That will punch. You know, if you know how to box. The, the boxers, they put on gloves. And they will punch. But it's not as painful. But if you punch someone without a glove. <laughs> oh. My brother, you will lose. One knockout. 
Let God give us preachers. Like Apostle Paul. Like William Branham. Like all these men of faith. In our generation. Who will preach the gospel. Without gloves or Who will give a knock cut blow to the church. Yes. Amen. That's what we want. Let God raise young men. Hallelujah. Amen. Who will preach? Amen. With inspiration. No the power of the Holy Ghost. With anointing. That will blow out the enemy. Out of the lives of the people. That's what we want. That's the gospel. And that's what is the message. Hallelujah. Amen. That kind of gospel will send the devil packing. He will start to chat. Whether it's a, a little demon hovering around you. And when you come, the preacher he may be short, he may be tiny, but he will throw that one gospel punch. Listen, brother. And that goes that punch will land on that little demon. And that demon will leave you. Let me tell you, that's what we believe. Hallelujah. Amen. I know, brother Bebe, you were in the church one day. And we were in Addis Ababa. And there was a little girl. Sister, brother, uh, sister to brother Moges. She was Demanded for years. With a bad cultural spirit. She would always come on her. Oh, and, uh, yeah, it's also in Ethiopia. I know those of you are saying, even in Ethiopia, yeah. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Satan is everywhere. Just like here in Uganda. And so that spirit. You know, was always on hand. Brother Moges had told me about it. So I told Brother Moges, let her come to church. Something will happen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't believe in going to be the man to do the security again. I believe there is power in the world. And that girl came to church. And that night, it was Brother Moges' turn to preach. And he preached. And preached. And preached. And And he was preaching in power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. And that little girl seated there quiet. You know, when they come in the first time, they don't even enjoy the word. They just there, you preach. When you finish, I will go home. And she was in that kind of attitude. But as the word got home, and as the people were receiving, that's why it is good for you to receive the word. If they leave as someone who is bound. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as he was preaching the yeah, word, yeah. that little girl, Hallelujah. Amen. That demon which is always on her. They blow without a glove on. It just hit her. And that was the last shout she had. Hallelujah. Amen. That was the last fall she had because of the devil. And from that day, she was delivered. Until today, they are taken to prophets. And prophets were prophesying there is a curse on her. And they were taken out to witchcraft. It didn't work. But one punch, one gospel punch will send the devil back in. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God is obligated to fulfill his word. That's why I don't believe in the cold preaching. We are not Catholics. We are not Baptists. We are Baptists. Hallelujah. Amen. We are Pentecostals. We believe in the fire and power of the Holy Ghost. 
We believe in the gospel which set free. We believe in the power of the gospel. We believe in speaking in tongues. We believe in prophecies. We believe in deliverance. Not deliverance of a man. But the word delivering a man. Every service is a deliverance service. <laughs> That's why we don't do special deliverance service. Every service is a deliverance service. Right now. You are being delivered right now. You are being delivered. Why? Because you have heard a message. You came in sick. Cry out right now. You are no longer sick. If your leg was sick, just stand and see you walk. Hallelujah. Why? There is power in the word. There is power in the word. Why? Because the power in the word is the power Power that heals. Power that sets free. Power that liberates. Power that fills with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we stand for. That is the message. Hallelujah. Amen. We have been restored back to the foundation. What is the way of coming? We have cast away all false doctrine. We have cast it all away. We now stand. And we say we know who we are. We know what we are raised up for. We have received the original life. The original seed. The original seed. We have received the original life. We have received the original life. The original seed. The original seed. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand up and rejoice. Because you are free. Because you are set free. Because this is the power of the world. If you are bound, let me listen to me if you are bound today. Don't walk out of here with that little demon still hovering around. Receive the punch of the ghost and be delivered. Be set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you if I were you, just lift up my hand and sing I receive that this morning. I receive that this morning. I receive my deliverance. I receive the Holy Ghost. I receive the power of the world. I am running with a message. I am running with a message. I am running. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful name. The name of Jesus. Oh, to those of you who are online, also receive the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name. It's not to worship him, saying. It's not wait for the music. Don't wait for the music. Just do it. From your heart. If you're bubbling in your heart, let it out. 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 Let Receive strength for this week. Receive strength for this week. For the man you got weekend to start in power. In victory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Father, can you play victory is mine? Victory is mine. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I receive my victory tonight. I receive my victory this afternoon. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Why do you Satan to give me behind me? Oh, victory today. I want someone here with victory to sing it with me tonight. Well, victory is mine. Oh, 
This morning, just call on him. The king will hear you because you have received the message. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus.